scientists have been looking for chemicals that can halt the aging process for decades. Fisetin, a plant extract, has recently received attention. Fisetin, which is found in strawberries, apples, and other plants, has a variety of advantages that improve longevity by removing senescent cells, which are simply called zombie cells that negatively affect surrounding cells and are a target of many longevity enterprises. Welcome to today's episode of Longevity News. In this episode, I will show you the amazing new discoveries around Fisetin and why you should start taking it as soon as possible. Fisetin has been shown to function as a senolytic, clearing away dysfunctional senescent cells and allowing healthy cells to thrive, three protect the brain in various models of neurodegenerative disorders, improve outcomes in people who have suffered strokes, help prevent malignant changes in cells, and help fight obesity and type 2 diabetes. Several human trials are currently underway. The challenge up until now was that fisetin is converted to an inactive form in the digestive tract. This means very little is absorbed into the bloodstream. For the first time, scientists have devised a low-cost way for increasing absorption by up to 25 times 18, allowing fisetin to be dispersed throughout the body. Fisetin, a flavonoid, may be found in a variety of fruits and vegetables such as strawberries, apples, persimmons, grapes, and onions. In animal tests, fisetin was revealed to be the most powerful senolytic molecule among a panel of flavonoids, specifically eliminating senescent cells and prolonging lifetime. Its advantages are similar to those of other flavonoids, such as green tea catechins and quercetin. It does, however, have its own set of biological features. A recent study discovered fisetin to be the most effective senolytic molecule among a group of flavonoids tested. Three senolytics are at the forefront of anti-aging research today. A preliminary database was created based on a field survey conducted in Iwate Prefecture, Japan, to estimate the quantity of flavonoids and ISO flavonoids consumed by Japanese people which are the most long-lived people in the world. The intake of flavonoids and ISO flavonoids was determined using database calculations and a preliminary assessment of 40 food items, accounting for at least 80% of total food consumption. After acid hydrolysis of the parent glycosides, fisetin was detected in freeze-dried vegetables and fruits. This video includes information on other dietary sources of fisetin as well as their concentrations. Fisetin has been the subject of research in recent years due to its presence in a variety of human foods and its anti-proliferative, apoptotic, and antioxidant properties. Fisetin has been found to be a chemopreventive, chemotherapeutic agent as well as a neuroprotective agent in a variety of cancers. Another anti-aging target is sirtuin proteins. These cellular defenders are found in all cells of the body and are essential for maintaining cells functioning at their best. Sirtuin function deteriorates with aging. Fisetin, on the other hand, increases sirtuin action in cells, which counteracts this reduction. Sirtuin activation has been found to greatly increase longevity in a variety of animal models. Fisetin may also protect against aging in the following ways. It decreases inflammation, which is a root cause of many chronic diseases and even aging. It replicates some of the benefits of a calorie-restricted diet, which has been found to promote disease resistance and longevity. It aids in the prevention of oxidative damage, which causes premature aging and degenerative illness. Obesity increases the risk of metabolic illnesses such as type 2 diabetes. It also raises the risk of cardiovascular disease, cancer, dementia, and a variety of other diseases. Fisetin appears to work as a type of metabolism control switch, lowering fat cell growth and inhibiting activation of the protein MTOR, which is associated to weight gain, according to preclinical research. Fisetin inhibited body weight gain and the growth of toxic white fat tissue in mice fed a high fat diet. Fisetin also assisted in the battle against fat accumulation in the livers of rats fed a high fat diet which is a typical occurrence with metabolic illness and can affect liver function and lead to fatty liver disease. Fisetin may be beneficial to those who already have type 2 diabetes. Fisetin reduces body weight in diabetic mouse models and improves glucose management with reduced hemoglobin A1c levels, a measure of blood sugar regulation over time. 
Diabetes that is poorly managed frequently results in debilitating or life-threatening consequences throughout the body. Fisetin greatly lowers the severity of diabetes consequences in mice, including reducing cataract growth, avoiding kidney damage, and enhancing kidney function. A human experiment is in underway to test Fisetin's capacity to protect kidney function, particularly in diabetics. Fisetin has a disadvantage when given orally in its pure form. Once it reaches the stomach, enzymes in the body rapidly convert it into an inactive and nearly worthless form. Scientists have devised a solution to this dilemma. Fisetin is prevented from being changed in the digestive system by mixing it with natural chemicals called galactomannins derived from the plant fenugreek. It is still active and easily absorbed into the circulation. Researchers discovered that a newly manufactured fisetin galactomannin combination employing unique green technology boosts bioavailability, how much is absorbed and circulated, in individuals by 25 times. Fisetin is undoubtedly one of the most focused, targeted senolytic medicines available today, according to current research. For the first time, patients may acquire it in a bioavailable form rather than consuming nearly 1,400 mg of fisetin each day and praying that enough is absorbed into the bloodstream. Those who desire to continue with a weekly senolytic program can take seven capsules of bioavailable fisetin once a week along with a black tea thea flavins plus quercetin plus apigenin combination. You might also take the bioavailable fisetin dosage every day for its other advantages and continue with weekly black tea theoflavins plus quercetin plus apigenin. Daily senolytics may be beneficial since this is how it happens in younger individuals with powerful immune systems that continually clear senescent cells. Bioavailable fisetin studies with several dosage schedules are planned to determine the best procedure for eliminating senescent cells and lowering the senescent-related secretory phenotype. SASPs. While the facts on Dasatinib's lifespan are impressive, some persons have minor flu symptoms or GI problems, whereas Fisetin does not produce these unfavorable side effects. We eagerly await the findings of human trials to determine the best senolytic program for aging people to follow. This might entail a number of senolytic substances based on individual response rates as determined by the senescent-associated secretory phenotype skin punch measurements of senescent fibroblast cells, or other senolytic measuring methods under consideration. Senescent cells are distinct in that they ultimately cease proliferating but do not die off as expected. Instead, they stay and continue to emit chemicals that might cause inflammation. A very small number of senescent cells, like the one rotten piece of fruit that corrupts the entire bowl, can endure and propagate inflammation that can harm nearby cells. However, not all senescent cells are detrimental. The chemicals and substances produced by senescent cells, referred to as the senescent secretome, serve critical functions throughout the lifetime, including embryonic development, childbirth, and wound healing. With age, the amount of senescent cells in a person's body grows. Senescent cells collect and contaminate healthy cells as the immune system ages. Because senescent cells in the brain can damage cognitive abilities, this can impact a person's capacity to resist stress or disease, recover from injuries, and learn new things. As a result, cellular senescence has been linked to a wide range of age-associated diseases, including cancer, diabetes, osteoporosis, cardiovascular disease, stroke, Alzheimer's disease and related dementias, and osteoarthritis. It has also been associated to deterioration in vision, movement, and cognitive abilities. Investigations are planned to determine if senescent skin cells contribute to sagging and wrinkling, as well as whether senescent cells are linked to the cytokine storm of inflammation that makes COVID-19 so dangerous for older persons. Patients suffering from a stroke are frequently given medicine to remove the clot that is obstructing blood flow to the brain. This can preserve a patient's life, avoid brain damage, and even reverse stroke symptoms in certain people. However, when it comes to treating acute ischemic stroke, ER clinicians are racing against the time. Treatment should begin within three hours of the beginning of symptoms for the highest probability of effectiveness. Many persons who have a stroke are treated too late, resulting in lifelong neurological damage and paralysis. According to a recent study, combining clot-dissolving medicine with fisetin dramatically increases the therapy window.
Patients who received Fisidin in addition to standard treatment up to 5 hours after a stroke had neurological results comparable to those who received treatment within 3 hours. Because the treatment window has been extended, many stroke sufferers who might normally suffer lifelong loss of brain function now have a higher chance of recovery. Fisitin is a plant component that may be found in a variety of plants, including strawberries and apples. When compared to a panel of flavonoids, it is the most efficient senolytic, eliminating old, defective senescent cells in preclinical experiments. This may aid in the improvement of function in old age, the prevention of chronic illness, and the extension of healthy longevity. Fisitin alone increased the longevity of mice by around 10%. So, what is your opinion and experience with taking Fisitin? Have you had any good results from it and do you believe that senolytics are a major part of aging? Please tell us in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching Longevity News. We consistently report on the newest biotechnologies and supplements around longevity on society's path to curing aging. Please support our cause by liking this video and subscribing to not miss out on any new videos.